I bet you're wondering how a lad like me from Bristol got to where I am now. Let me give you a brief history. I'm Ellis, Elise in French, Elisimo in Spanish. Depends how you look at it. I am from Knoll. I was alright at rugby. I played for Old Red Cliffians RFC uh, in Brislington, BS4. I've played at Bristol Harlequins, I have played at Cleve, I have played at Kencham, I have played for Bristol Rugby, Plymouth Albion, Leicester Tigers, and now I'm here in England. And I'm also back at Bristol. And now it's Argentina week. With it being a Sunday game, it allowed us to have an extra day. Starting on Monday, we began our prep in the gym. One, two, three, drop up. So that's 200 kg. And this is Billy, my hype man. Look at that, look how strong I am. Then in the evening, it was a meeting to set the tone for the week. Next morning it was squad briefing at 8.20. We have these meetings every morning to go over a few game plan points and basically lay out the week. Here's me, I'm not late. We were just having a meeting before the meeting about a meeting with Jack and Faz, <laughs> essentially just talking about what we want to drive this week. And drawing a little bit more responsibility at the moment in the leadership role. I really enjoy spending time with the young boys still and like Will Joseph here, like a lion looking after his young. And then we had poor recovery. We basically all got in the pool on our budgies and tried to play volleyball. Uh, we got this, bro, we got this. So here's me with my textbook backhand serve. I call this the reverse sweep. So basically what you do is you brace your palm not too hard, it has to be soft. The small volume of reps, everyone actually sees it in fast motion. So it looks like it's going really quick, but the droplets of water basically have a ripple effect and they can't return it. <laughs> <laughs> We won the volleyball 11-9 with 10 aces. You're welcome. Yeah. Whoa, 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 cut, 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 cut. And then on to Wednesday. After our squad briefing at 8.20 a.m., we go on to one of our main squad training sessions of the week. This is one of the toughest sessions because boys basically find out if they're staying for the week or going back to club um, and it's really important for us to, to keep the togetherness in the squad and, and just reiterate to those boys who are leaving us at the end of the day that how much we appreciate the help and, and it's a squad effort and that I can't wait to see them come back in the week after. In the back of your mind obviously everyone wants to play, you'd be naive to think they didn't um, but at the same time you have to prep the team as well as you can and also think about your own um, career and, and longevity so you basically get told if you're playing and then you have to sort of kick your stones on the way to training and then get your head down and help the team graft as, as best as possible because at the end of the day we all just want to win for England. Good day boys, good day. As these are our most physical days of the week, it makes the days after and the afternoon, evening very important because we have to recover and basically get ready for the game. Friday was our day off this week and it started off tremendously. Mix it up on the recovery days, we basically put breakfast in a different space depending on what team we're playing in the week. The nutritionist and the staff here basically do a great job of putting one item on the menu that basically themes the breakfast around them. Here we were told we have Argentinian sausages. Then I went into the sauna, I had a bit of sauna and plunge. So you basically go into the cold water. The water wasn't that cold, I think, because the boys had just got out of the sauna and heated it up, but it was a nice refreshing dip.
thought Lenny went into anaphylactic shock in the plunge. He stayed, he's supposed to stay under there for 10 seconds. He did about 40. <laughs> A quick pack, basically moving hotels today. So I have to get all the stuff into the bags and, and move, move on to the next hotel. Quick disclaimer, I didn't actually take the horse. Please don't bill me. <laughs> now that's all done, on to Richmond. Game rehearsal is essentially what it says on the tin. Um, a quick rehearsal of the game, obviously not as intense, but high speed, had a day off the day before, get the legs ticking, um, everything switched back on, and just go over any clarity that we need for the game the day after. Mako and Jack on D, Curry covering the breakdown, and Marcus and Lenny on attack. It was raining, but boy, did we look good in black. media duties for me and then back to the hotel. Fast forward a few hours and it's the most important day and meal of the week. 3 p.m. chocolate biscuits, chicken goujons, loads of mayo. Essentially, because we eat reasonably clean all week, uh, it's just nice to have a, a little blowout and some feel-good food before the game. Saturday, all said and done, we had a few meetings to attend on the evening. Feeling good about the game. Um, it's going to be interesting for me playing against a lot of former teammates, Tute, Julian and, and Tomas. Argentina obviously had a, a few big sculpts over the last few months, so definitely up there now. We're really excited to, to see where we're at after the Australia tour and it's nice to have some new faces in and let the boys express themselves. I don't get nerves. I get like butterflies of excitement. Yeah, I rarely get nervous. It's more so excitement and trying to hold that back. I don't like to think that after we've done all the prep. The only reason you should be nervous is if you haven't done the work in the week and 99% of the time we've got all that done. Exactly like that boys. We're back at home, eh? We're back at home. The front of a massive break. Uh, we're going to something for eight minutes, right? Whatever that be. Whether that be physicality, whether that be control, whether that be reacting well to the next thing that's coming. Coming. Yeah. Eh? Let's give them to something to get excited about for eight minutes. Stand up tall, boys. Set, stay, stay there. Van edge three to the knee. It is carried for by Vogan, a singer, twisting and turning, and he's got the score. And that is why Eddie Jones picks this man. Let's get off the line, connect it, and we'll put it back in our ass. We can't let these people away first. Right? That's the end of it. We're it. Keep on forwards. Keep on squeezing. Let's go, boys! Let's go! 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 let us go 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 let us Montoya, Vetrano. All looping round, and now there are spare men over. Carreras beautifully worked from the Pumas. Vefeli into the corner. There's the ball for Manatu Alangi. Oh, what 
And Farrell that time. And it's been picked up. And away goes Carreras. And Carreras is being chased by Stewart. But Carreras is going to get there. Marcus Smith on there to Farrell. The carry oh. forward from Tuolangi. There's Alex Coles. Genge. Oh, and there's a bit of space here. And Van Borkley straight in there. And Van Borkley has got the try. Immediate impact. Argentina have won. Gonzalo Batrano fires it into the West Stand, and Michael Checker has his moment. A magnificent moment for Argentinian rugby in every possible sense. Full time score at Twickenham. Argentina have beaten England by 30 points to 29. <laughs> Suck it up, we'll get back together, have a break. Tuesday and Wednesday we're going to have the best preparation. So let's have a drink together, let's get a beer. I want everyone to have a beer before we go. Over the last two weeks it's been a pleasure to get to know you. You know, everyone's loved your spreadsheets. You, <laughs> <laughs> you've, uh, you've added a lot of value to the group. You know, it's been an honour getting to know you and playing with you. Sorry if you couldn't make this day a winning day, but I'm sure there's plenty more of these to come. But massive congratulations and we build from here. Thank you very much. Honoured to represent the country and play alongside you guys. Um, you know, obviously we all wanted it to be a win, but come back in wherever you are next week. It's been great getting to know you, and I'll do my best for, for this group. Yeah,